Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned how to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Today we will see an example based on this. Gaurav took a rented house for 15 years. He was given this house with a monthly rental of rupees 5000 and an annual monthly rental increase of rupees 500. What will be his monthly rent in the 11th year? The monthly rent for the first year will be rupees 5000. Can you find the monthly rent for the second year? Well done! It is very easy. We just have to add the annual increase to the monthly rent for the first year. Hence, the monthly rent for the second year will be rupees 5500. Similarly, we can find the monthly rent for the third year by adding rupees 500 to the rent of the previous year. Similarly, we can also find the monthly rent for the fourth year. Therefore, the monthly rent for the third year will be rupees 6000 and the monthly rent for the fourth year will be rupees 6500. If we observe carefully, we can see a pattern here. Can you tell me whether this is an arithmetic progression or not? Well done! This is an AP. We have to find the monthly rent for the 11th year. Now, tell me what will we do to find the value for the 11th year? Absolutely right! Now we will use the formula for the nth term, a n, or the general term of an AP. Here, the first term a equals to 5000, the common difference d is 500, and n equals to 11. Therefore, the 11th term of the AP comes out to be 10,000. So, the monthly rent for the 11th year will be rupees 10,000. In this video, we learned to find the nth term of an AP with the help of few examples. In the next video, we will see simple mistakes that can occur while solving these types of questions.